Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of my Kickstarter Diaries. A pretty quiet week this week so hopefully you've all been saving money and spending it on others um, given that it is Christmas, given that it's Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I'm sure there's been lots of board game spending even if it hasn't been on Kickstarter. Uh, but anyway let me talk you through uh, what I've been backing. So the only game that I've actually backed this week is Nemo's War. Um, Nemo's War is a game that's been out for a little while, but this is actually a new expansion. Um, and the reason why I'm backing it now is because there, of it, there's been a second edition, which has been out for a little while. Um, but th now they're bringing out an edition, the ultimate edition, which includes the base game as well as all of the expansions that have already been released and um, this new expansion called, what is it called? Journey's End. And um, this is not a game for me. This is a solo game experience for the most part. And um, as some of you might know, Maggie is getting more and more into solo games. I think being locked down with me for a year has made her even more interested in playing games by herself. Um, <laughs> but this game um, looks like one that uh, she would get into. It's quite a heavy, I think it's like 3.17 um, on BGG. It also gets a rating of eight. Um, people love this game as a solo experience experience um, and notably it's like number 37 in terms of the most thematic games of all time so of course I had to look into it for dear old Thema uh, Maggie to have a look at uh, what it's all about the things that I really like about it are um, not only is it quite complex and there's many different parts um, the new expansion uh, gives you oh actually one thing that I really like about this game when I was looking into like a playthrough of it is that you start with a motive and so you choose your motive and what kind of um, game you want to play or what kind of character you want to be and then you place one of these cards next to um, a points multiplier I guess and um, and then that determines kind of what your objectives are and what things are going to be worth to you based on your starting motives which I think Maggie will be really into given that she really loves theme. Um, there's also like event cards that come out each round which I think is just I enjoy those in games because it feels more immersive like there's a reason why behind why you're doing different things even though I'm not that into theme I do like a, a good old event card. Um, I also like that this new expansion brings in a competitive game mode for um, two players and so um, you know turning into a versus game probably we won't start there but if Maggie really enjoys the solo experience and wants me to kind of engage with the game and have a game with her at least there's that option to add that in. So yeah I am pretty happy with the ultimate edition and everything being included. Um, it, it just looks like a game that's had a lot of thought and time put into it but also it's always had such amazing reviews so I'm going to take this opportunity to pick it up for Maggie. I realized in doing this video and Maggie editing it for me, thank you Maggie, um, that uh, I can no longer keep a surprise from, from her if I'm buying it on Kickstarter and talking about it here. Um, but anyway, um, I hopefully she'll be quite happy that I'm backing that one. Now the next game that I want to talk about is uh, one that I've been anticipating for quite a long time. Um, if you've been following along with this series, I mentioned it like probably early on in our channel, like a couple, a couple of months ago, um, that Astral Logic Trilogy had caught my eye because this campaign was going to be from um, a new group of designers. Um, but also that they were ambitiously trying to launch three big box euros at once. And um, so when I saw that this had popped up, of course, I was like so excited to watch all the videos to get an understanding of all the different games. It's um, not doing particularly well on Kickstarter. And I think there's some campaign issues um, going on here. Um, you know, as I was scrolling through, I, uh, you know, because this is the first image I had um, seen of the games and it looked like they looked quite amazing. There's obviously a lot going on. We're big fans of big Euros. Um, and then, you know, I guess their justification for doing all three is that three is better than one and, um, you know, everyone's different, has different preferences. I think it would have worked better in their favor or more in their favor to do maybe one game really well and then get everybody on board with their style and then bring out um, other games. I think as a first time designer, 
Um, people could be quite worried about whether you're going to be able to deliver against the promises that you're making um, because there's no guarantees on Kickstarter. So I think that's one thing that's probably holding it back a little bit is just an uncertainty of, well, are you going to be able to deliver on one game, let alone three games? Um, and can you do it all within the money that you're asking for the three games, which isn't that expensive, which actually raises some red flags about have they factored in enough money to produce these games? Um, now, the games themselves are quite interesting. Warhounds is actually literally you are playing um, as different uh, breeds of dog um, who are sergeants of, I think, of different armies and um in Dragon Brood, uh, one of them is a worker placement game, might be Dragon Brood and, um, and Shaman as well as the third game. Actually, of the three, I was most interested in Shaman because it just, it looks like some of the components were quite interesting. I've also got to say that the color of this text, um, when I was reading it on my mobile, it was extremely difficult um, to view on my on my phone. Um, I always like on a Wednesday morning, like to lie in bed with a coffee and look through all of the different um, new Kickstarters. And yeah, this one was just a bit tricky. It was also hard to get a grasp of how to play the games. Like there's lots of images here, but um, yeah, I found it really challenging. And then actually when you watch the videos about each game, oh yeah, sorry. So the dragon game is the worker placement game. Um, when you watch the videos, uh, they're very layered with like, kind of they've put on voices to kind of get set the mood which is fine but it was it made it even harder for me to grasp um how each of the three games were different and um you know I think they've put these games on tabletopia I haven't had a chance to to play them I'm not sure how many people will go to the trouble of playing them um you know once they've seen the campaign but um, hopefully some do because it does look like they've put a lot of thought into these games. I just wish that I think in the campaign page, it would have even been better to just describe one fully in detail and step people through it very slowly to show all the thinking that has clearly gone into putting these together. I mean, big box games, I don't envy anyone that's putting together a game like this, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm not backing um, this game, unfortunately. I'm not sure it will get completely funded. I hope it does um, for the guys that are doing it. But um, yeah, I I think if they could get, you know, some prototypes in the hands of reviewers, that would really help as well. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, the next game is Fly Away. And I had said in my last, last week's um, video that I was interested in this one. Um, once it did launch, I so I was in, mostly interested because the board looked really cool, this like networking board. Um, and for me, it was almost, it reminded me a lot of Ticket to Ride actually, in terms of the, the way that you're kind of creating that migration pattern. Um, but as I watched it through, you know, there's kind of foul play cards and wing it cards. So you're like attacking and defending um, each other. And um, yeah, I don't know. It just seemed a little light and uh, not quite something, not the kind of gameplay that we would enjoy. So um, it looks like, you know, it's already funded and um, it might be one for you, but unfortunately I don't think it would be heavy enough for Maggie and I. So we've um, passed on that. Um, and the other one is Saloon Showdown this week. Um, Saloon Showdown is a game for two to seven players. So it can um, kind of more of a party style game. It seems very light. Um, you've got these cutout of guns here and essentially you can choose to attack other people and then it's all about playing the right cards and defending yourself. Um, so it seems like a very light kind of party game where you're trying to collect the most money. Um, for us, we have you know a few games like this in our collection. Um, of course, this reminds me a bit um, of Cash and Guns, but also um, Bang. We love Bang. And so, um, yeah, so there wasn't probably a role for this game in our collection, but I just wanted to let everybody know that, you know, that if you're looking for a light kind of party style game with um, that can have up to seven players, then it might be worth checking this one out. Now, on to games that are upcoming. Um, the end of the year is a bit funny. I don't know how many more new games there will be. 
Um, chai tea for two is one that was meant to be launched in 2020. Um, I have a feeling and there's kind of, you know, people are talking about the fact that it will probably be 2021 now that it's been um, pushed back a little bit. Um, it may pop up in December. I will be keeping an eye out for it because I don't know why, but I have just passed by um, Chai Deluxe Edition, the full game, not this two player version. Um, every time that it's been on Kickstarter. And um, the funny thing is, is that Maggie makes herself a chai from scratch with all of the spices and everything um, every morning. Like she loves chai tea. And every time the game has been on Kickstarter, I'm like, May, this just seems like so your thing. And every time we, or she kind of decides that it's too light for her. Um, but now she's kind of wishing that she had picked it up. So long story short, when Chai Tea for Two launches, I'm hoping that I can also pick up the deluxe edition of the original Chai game. Um, but Chai Tea for Two sounds like a fun one to play together too. It's um, dice placement, which is um, kind of, the, it's so in right now. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to have more, more of those games in our collection. The other game that's launching next week is um, Mamiji. Um, this is a game that's set in Japan. It looks really stunning, totally beautiful. So um, I'm excited about it for that reason. I love how these cards come together to create like a panoramic scene um, and all of the rest of the cards are really beautiful. I think it's just like a basic kind of um, set collection game where you're collecting and playing these um, different leaf cards. Um, so that looks super cute and I'll be looking out for that next week. The other game is um, Carnegie, which actually has been pushed back. So this is another one that may launch in December. I'll be definitely keeping my eye out for it. I talked about it last week. It was meant to launch this week. It's been delayed. Um, thank you to Sean in the comments for your heads up about um, the delay, but also for all the fun facts that you've been telling me about um, Carnegie and the, um, the amazing number of libraries that he created around the world. He even sent me a link to the ones that are still standing in Australia, um, none that are too close to us. But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning more about the history um, of this uh, great philanthropist. Um, I think his name is Andrew Carnegie, isn't it? Yeah, Andrew Carnegie. So um, yeah, interested to see when this launches and I'll be backing it uh, straight away in O'Toole Art. The next game is one that is not launching on Kickstarter, but I just wanted to mention it here because I'm super excited about it. I know a lot of people are excited about it, um, is Coffee Traders. Coffee Traders by Capstone Games is um, going up for pre-order um, next week, so the 1st of December, um, or so, so they say. Um, but, you know, I've just been looking at this and um, been following along in their Discord channel and it just looks um, so much up our alley. Um, so excited. Look at these little coffee beans. It just looks like a really heavy euro all about um, co the coffee trade. And, you know, we've already got um, cafe and we own um, coffee roasters just here on the shelf. You can see it here, the which we actually went and tracked down the original um, copy from Japan. Um, and so we, we love the theme, obviously, but um, it just looks like this will be a nice, heavy game. Um, look at that player board. Uh, just absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to pre-order this game. Um, anyway, that's really it this week. Um, we're hoping to pump out a lot more videos in the next couple of weeks because um, after that, you know, Christmas season, it gets um, very difficult and um, I'm sure... Um, you know, everyone will be uh, celebrating as much as possible given current conditions, but um, hopefully you can all um, start to at least get some online Christmas shopping happening for your loved ones and have a quieter week on Kickstarter. Um, but I will be back next week, no doubt, buying more things just for myself. <laughs> but bye for now.